Alright you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be following on from my last one, which was Dick Butkus. I'm going to be watching a guy that looks um, just a, pretty much as mean, uh, a little bit uglier to be honest. Old Ray Nitschke, number 47 on the top 100 NFL's greatest players of all time. So let's crack into it. But you know what? Actually, before we do that, I'm just going to have to do a little bit of research. Because I did, I did research with Dick, Buck, Dick Buckus, so if you're a fan of Ray Nitschke, you know, I don't want to leave you guys out. So, Ray Nitschke. Oh, he's passed away. That's sad. December 29th, Raymond Ernest Nitschke was a professional... American football middle linebacker who spent his entire 15 year career with the Green Bay Packers. Oh, hang on guys. <laughs> Nick Minnett. I can't let this opportunity go to waste. Sweet. <laughs> Let's go. Ray Nitschke. He led the Packers to five NFL championships. Oh, that's NFL, that's the different, and victories in the first two Super Bowls. What was the NFL before this NFL? Nitschke was the youngest of three sons to Robert and Anna Nitschke. His father was killed in a car accident in 1940 when he was three, and his mother died of a blood clot when Ray was 13. Older brothers Robert Jr. and Richard decided they would raise Ray on their own. Nitschke entered Proviso High School in Maywood shortly after his mother's death. death. The loss of both parents enraged Nitschke, and the lack of a parental disciplinarian to quell his rage caused him to engage in fights with other kids in the neighbourhood. During his freshman year, he played fullback on one of the school's three football teams. He was a poor student, and his grades eventually caught up with him as he was declared academically ineligible to play sports his sophomore year. He would lament this embarrassment for the rest of his life. He succeeded in raising his grades enough in his sophomore year to allow him to play sports his junior year, when he had grown significantly to six feet tall. He starred on the varsity football team, playing quarterback on offense and safety on defense. Huh. His baseball skills brought him an offer from professional St. Louis Browns. Nitschke was also offered scholarships from college football programs around the country. Pupils advised him to accept a football scholarship. Due to his desire to play at a Big Ten college with a chance to play in the Rose Bowl, he accepted a football scholarship to the University of Illinois in 1954. Okay, that's about enough. Let's watch. I think probably Raymond had the greatest journey in life during his football career of anyone I've ever known about. Yeah, that's not a, um, not a, it's not exactly a start to life that you'd wish on uh, anyone. It's pretty tragic. It's a lot more tragic than what I've been through. So, it's easy just to brush that off, but fuck. That's why he was so mean. Everyone's got a story. Three, lost his mother when he was 11. So kind of grew up uh, a little bit tough on the streets of Chicago and um, was kind of in a certain way like a junkyard doll. Coach would get up on the tower every once in a while to watch practice. He happened to be on the field behind the offense at this time and Ray was over by the tower and a wind came up, pretty significant wind, strong enough to blow the tower over and actually a bolt from the uh, tower penetrated Ray's uh, helmet and uh, he was trapped under the tower and Coach Lombardi said somebody's under the tower who is that and he kept running over there and it's Nitschke oh hell it's only Nitschke he'll be all right <laughs> Ray Nitschke's a big rough belligerent fun-loving guy with a heart as big as all outdoors but he has been a bit of a problem to coach when you chew him out he's just like a child Ray Nitschke was a rookie in 1958, and right away he made a name for himself. But it wasn't the name he wanted. He doesn't look and like a rookie. Called in the judge, and he called. And he said, 
And we were talking about that. Yeah, they call me the judge. I spent so much time on the bench, they call me the judge. Oh, I've got to hear how this guy talks, man. a couple man. years in Green Bay, he was just nasty. I mean, just snarling at everybody. He didn't trust anybody. Didn't really uh, fit in very well. And it didn't matter Woo. if you were in shorts oh, and shit. t-shirts. You always buckled your hat when you went close to Raymond. Solid. Because he was going to hit you. He's injured himself. He's done a hemi. I desire to play every down like it's the last down. I think that's what it's all about. You can take away the fans and the bands and TV cameras and oh, I'll still go out I've there seen that hit before. That's fucking nuts. Very good to me, especially playing with the Packers. And I know it's made me a better father and a man. Well, I want to actually see this guy um, talk. Are we going to hear him talk? The key to their dominance was defense. And the key to their defense was Ray Nitschke. Ray Nitschke interview. This is what we want. Oh, both. Ray Nitschke and Dick Buckus. Um. Oh, uh, Alright. Let's watch these guys. Let's watch these legends. Come on. All right, let's listen to him. Here we go. This will be the last video. Old Ray Nitschke. I didn't even hear what he said.
really are. I remember I looked back, I never got to the Rose Bowl. I wanted to play in the Rose Bowl, guys. I never got to play in the Rose Bowl. It was one of the few games I missed playing. And something in my in my athletic career I missed. I wanted to play in the Rose Bowl. He's got the same haircut now as he did in his rookie year. Ah, <laughs> oh, Ray. What a fucking legend. Makes him look mean as a young guy, though. Alright guys, uh, my computer's fucking up, we're not going to be able to finish that, that video, fucking, the memory's not working properly, I can't save anything more, so that's all the screen recording I can do for one night. Anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy this video, I'm going to go and relax, take my time, I've smashed through a lot of videos today, I'm really happy about it, I'm loving American football, and you know what, tomorrow there's going to be no more videos made for the next, I don't know, probably week. I'm going to focus on training, I'm going to focus on building my skills, um, we're going to be going down to the field tomorrow morning and making another running back video so you guys can critique that and tell me how I'm going. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So I hope you guys have a good night or a good day or a good evening or morning, wherever you are in the world. Alright, I will see you guys very shortly.